To close out, I want to jump back to one of the one we skipped and give some, some affirmations on finding direction. Um, we had said at the beginning, right, that we were going to kind of go over a little bit from uh, our previous how to build a local um, organizing 101 session. Uh, we obviously are, we're over time already, so we don't, uh, we're not going to get into that, but you should go, you know, go to greensocialist.net slash 101s and check that out. Um, Cause it does get into a lot of, you know, the strategy of actually building something. Um, and so that, that, that's a good resource, but you know, to close out for tonight, some affirmations on finding direction. No one needs permission to begin organizing their communities. Yes, you can do it. Um, you, no one has, you don't have to go ask permission to start work, doing work in your community. Um, just start doing the work and, you know, if you build it, they will come type thing, right? Um, good organizing is first and foremost built on trust and real relationships. Uh, working class people rightfully don't trust politicians. Actions, not words, are what matters. I can't emphasize this enough, um, right? In, in, in electoral politics, we talk about touches. Right, how many times you need to talk and you know you need to interact with a voter before they vote for you, um, but beyond that, right? People aren't you change minds, you move people, you motivate people, you activate and engage people into action by having them trust you. You know you, that doesn't happen because you have a good platform, right? It, it happens because you've been with them; they know you, right? Um, the platforms don't mean anything. Political platforms really don't mean anything, right? 94% of Democrats support Medicare for all, but the Democratic Party as an institution doesn't, right? Same thing with climate change. Same thing with, you know, police reform. So the, across the board, we're seeing, you know, we see the, the base of the Democratic Party supporting policies that the, the institutional party and the politicians that lead it are nowhere near uh, where their base is, and, and the, they're the ones who lead, right? The base gets left behind. Um, so if we want to change people's minds, we've got to get there on the, the real relationships. Um, don't let yourself get overwhelmed. Start with one or two things. Um, Andrew Hager had asked about, you know, getting it together and learning to quit procrastinating in the chat. That's the key one, right? Capitalism has create has is nearly total in our in our world, right? It's not just an economic system anymore, like you know, in the days of Marx. It's completely melded in with culture, um, and because of that, like nearly every aspect of our society needs radical, transformative change. And I, I don't even want to call it radical, right? It's capitalism that's radical. It's capitalism that's extremist, right? The it's capitalism that's oppressive and exploitative. But we need transformative change through basically every part of our society and that sets us up as you know independent socialist organizers to feel very overwhelmed to not know where to start to pick up too much because we just have to do something um, start with one or two things start with something that's achievable and let it snowball right um, don't, don't start with you know the the thing that you're never going to do don't take it off the off your list, right? It's it's the top of the list. You need to you need to build a ladder of rungs so that you can step up to get to that point. Um, make sure you do the prep work and planning. If you're always shooting from the hip, it's hard to be effective. Decide on measures and metrics to determine if the action was successful. Super important to greens, especially in electoralism, right? Um, if you run your rate, if you run for office, and your only metric is did I win or lose? you're most likely going to lose, right? And I don't mean just the election, but I mean overall, right? It's going to be, you're not going to benefit from that run. Um, how, you know, you need lots of metrics and lots of kind of lines of what a win is. We need to reevaluate what a win is um, because we're, this is David and Goliath, y'all. Like we, we're not going to get that one shot kill with the slingshot every time. Um, we need, we need to build up, we need to organize. So we need to make sure that we're, we're setting achievable goals and stepping stones that can get us to that point that we don't need that one shot with the with that one lucky shot with a slingshot, right? We, where we can come and actually stand our own. Um, there's no one method to organize, learn and adapt ideas from others. Do what it makes sense for you, your community and your goals, right? Um, we, I, I mentioned earlier the 
the old dead guys, right? They've still got some good ideas we can learn from, right? And some of the things that work for the old dead guys won't work for us today. And some of the things that didn't work for the old dead guys will work for us today. And some of the things that will work for us today, the old dead guys couldn't even envision because the world is so different, right? So we, we've got to be able to adapt. We've got to be able to learn. We've got to understand that we're, we're forging a new path not following an old one, but forging a new path. And that takes, you know, ad adapting. Um, and there are very few resources like this, right? Andrew Hager also said, I'd like to receive training and education. I need to organize any community I'd like to form. <sighs> it's hard to find resources on how to do that independently of the capitalist class, of capitalist politics, right? Um, most most resources are oriented towards not-for-profits and advocacy groups. Um, so just like the one above, right, when we said we need to learn and adapt, we don't ignore those things, right? We look at those things that have been put out. We look at the tactics that are being used, and we adapt them to our own needs. We adapt them to what we can do, right? Um, we talked, if you go back and watch our first 101, like, we just kept repeating this point. You know what I mean? Over and over and over. Because we're like, we, we were talking about things like um, William Foster's organizing in the steel industry, right? It's about, it's a hundred year old text about how to organize in a, you know, a manual labor job. But we, but it has some great, great, great methods on how to actually grow an organization that we can apply to our independent political organizing. We just kind of have to like tweak it a little. Right. You know what I mean? So we really have to, you know, the resources aren't out there. So we really got to go up to that previous one um, and be adaptable. Right. It's like it's like when people ask who, you know, what news sources people read, like hopefully all of them. And we were able to filter. Right. We're able to read through the lines. We were able to read biases. Right. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So, um, you know, those are some affirmations um, to close out. Garrett, do you got anything? Uh, no, I think I just agree with all those things. And I, um, I think our goal for 2023 is to create more of those resources because there's not really a whole lot on independent organizing. Um, so that, that's, that's certainly my personal goal. And I think the whole green socialist organizing projects goal for 2023, uh, we want to grow strong locals and we want to give you resources that will help, uh, to do that. 